In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can heal the player similarly to what Hollow Knight does. In the first video, we have created uh, the soul bar mechanic and how to fill it up by uh, eating the enemy and those kind of things. And in this video, we're going to focus on how to heal the player using the soul that we have collected. So this video is going to be pretty straightforward, so let's go. So the first thing we need to do is to uh, first create the variable. So here I am on my player script. And what I want to do is after my swear variable, I'm going to create a new uh, little uh, space. And that space is going to be for uh, the um, the soul charge heal mechanic. So here I'm going to just make a comment. Uh, this is for the soul charging mechanic. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to have a variable to hold the time. So I'm going to call it hold times and it's going to be of type, uh, it's going to be of type float and I'm going to put it at um, equal 1.5, something like this. Then we need to have a variable that I'm going to call hold timer, hold timer like this. And this is going to be also of type float and this is good for keeping track of how much time we are uh, pressing our uh, key for holding the stuff because I want to make it like in Hollow Knight I want to uh, in Hollow Knight when you're pressing for recharging your uh, your health it's not instant it's like you need to have like a sort of one second something to uh, charge and then boom you have your your art that is regenerated if you have the soul so that's what I'm keeping track of right here and then we need to have a variable I'm going to call it is holding and it's going to be equal to, it's going to be set to false and this is going to just uh, uh, help us to make sure that we can detect when we are pressing the key and then after that we can trigger the fact that we are uh, checking how long the, the, the key has been pressed. So now that we have done that, what we can do is globally at the end of the script right here, I can create a new function and that function is going to be in charge of uh, doing everything related to uh, charging the soul. So here I'm just going to make a little comment for myself. Uh, function for uh, the charging soul system and I'm going to make a bit of space like this and I'm going to come back here and the first thing I want to do here is that function I'm going to call it charging soul and it's going to pass a delta because we're going to use the delta for uh, checking how long we are pressing the key so here what I need to do now is I need to uh, create an input for now I'm going to pass and what I want to do I want to create an input for uh, making sure that I can create, I, I can charge my soul. So here I'm going to go to project, project setting. I'm going to go to input map right here. And here I'm going to add a new function. I'm going to call it charging soul. Uh, and I'm going to click on add. And here I'm going to click on the plus right there. And I'm going to tap on the N uh, key. And uh, here uh, I will have that key for, uh, for testing. So now that we have that, what I can do is I can start to code the logic. So here we're going to make first... A little check and we're going to say if input is action just press and here we're going to look for our charging soul then what we want to do here is we want to turn is holding to true is holding equal true and then what i want to do is also i want to get my old uh, uh, my old timer i want to make sure that i'm setting it to zero to zero 0 0.0. So like this, we are making sure that when we are pressing, we are like globally resetting the old timer. Uh, so then what we need to do here is we can use the is holding true for now, making sure that we can keep track of how long we are pressing the key. So here I'm going to make another statement. If is holding, if is holding, so here it means that if is holding is it true, is true. Then here I'm going to say if input dot is action press not just press here here we want to make sure we check the the action that is pressed so here it's like charging soul uh, and uh, here what we need to do as well is we need to make sure that we can hold the timer uh, here so here i can say n hold timer is a smaller or equal to hold time so here we are making a little um a little uh, statement that makes sure that uh, we are doing, we are pressing, uh, how to say, we are making sure that we are counting the fact that we are pressing if our old timer, which is uh, how long we are pressing our key, is uh, under our hold time, which is globally the function, the variable that we have right here, which is 1.5 seconds. That's what we are doing right here. So at least we are making sure that we are 
uh, setting things right. So here, what I want to do is I just want to get my hold uh, timer to be uh, plus plus equal to delta. So here, what I'm doing is I uh, so globally here. I'm clicking just one time because this is is action just pressed, so it means that it just register when that button has been pressed. Uh, so here we are turning iso link to true, and when iso link to true, we are checking if action is uh, pressed. So here it check how long the action is pressed, and if it's the case, then globally we add uh, the delta, which is our, the time of our game, to the whole timer. And so now now that we have done that, what we can do is we can make an else statement. So here we can say else. Uh, here uh, we are checking if the button is released or not. So here, if old uh, timer is uh, greater or equal to a hold time, which is 1.5 for us, then what we want to do here is we want, for example, to print something for now. Soul can be charged. Something like this. All right. And so if it's not the case, then what we want to do uh, is we just want to get out of the uh, if statement right here. And what we want to do is we just want to say is holding to be equal to false because we are not holding things anymore. And old timer, just for the sake of it, reset it to 0.0, .0 just to make sure. So now what we can do is we here can create a function that we can call for actually uh, handling the um, how to say the the fact that we can press and uh, recharge our life. So uh, the first thing I want to do here is I want to create a new function. Function and that function I'm going to call it can can charge underscore soul. And here that function what I want to do is I just want to access my if global soul. So here I just need, I'm just going to go on back on that arrow. I have my global script here. And remember that in the last video, when we have created the soul bar, we have uh, also created that variable soul. And so now we can access that through the code for actually changing things. So here I can come back to my player controller. And here what I can say is if global.soul is greater or equal to 0.25, then uh, here, what we are doing is we are making a check. We are making sure that we have souls. So like this, we can uh, actually do all of this. And if we don't have soul, it will not do all of this if we try. So here, what we need to do is we need to get our globals dot elf to be uh, plus equal one. So here, uh, if we have 25 or more of global soul, we can recharge of one life. And then we need also to make sure that the global dot soul uh, is also minus equals 0 0.25. So here, because we are using the soul to recharge our life, we need to subtract uh, the soul that we are using. So that's what we are doing right here. And here, for example, you can make a little print if you want. Uh, print, ah, no. Print, soul is charged. Something like this. All right. And uh, then uh, what we can do is here we can just make an else statement. And here we can say print not enough soul to heal. Something like this. And so now that we have done that, but basically we can just take our can charge soul function and we can put it where uh, we are checking if the old timer is greater or equal to old time because this is where we want to uh, use that function right here. So here I can just come here pass it and that's good. So now the last thing that we need to do is we need to pass our charging soul uh, function right here. We can pass it into the physics process delta that is right here and I can put it like just after my flip function. So here I can put charging soul and I'm going to put the parentheses and the delta. Voila. So now with all that done, uh, normally this should work. So let's have a look. So I'm going to launch the game. And so here, if you don't see those blue stuff, it's just because I'm going to show you, like, uh, I put it on debug, I put the visible collision shape visible, so like this I can see where my uh, my uh, swirl right here is. So here I'm just going to take a bit of, uh, I'm going to lose a bit of uh, um, life, I'm going to come here, boom, boom, voila. And so now I have my soul that is charged. So now, technically speaking, if I press N for 1.5 seconds, I should 
take a, I should remove soul and I should like heal my uh, my life. So let's see. One, two, boom. And now normally if I continue to press, it stops. So here you need to redo it. You see, boom, and it works. And so now you have a health uh, system that works slightly like uh, like you have in Hollow Knight. Obviously, this is a very uh, it's a simple one. Like in Hollow Knight, you have animation, you have screen shake, you have a particle system and stuff like that that is emanating from the player, so we can see that there is something going on. But this is already very good for like uh, having uh, that mechanic made as a starter, and you can uh, tailor it the way you want. And if you want also to just make sure that the player doesn't move when you are like charging, because right now, for example, I can press N and I can charge at the same time, I can uh, move and stuff. What you can do here is like, for example, you can say that if he's holding uh, globally, you can take the, ve the velocity of the player and you can say that velocity is equal to uh, vector 2.0 like this. A uh, zero with capital uh, letter like this. Voila. And so now, technically speaking, I shouldn't be able to move when I will be uh, recharging. So here I'm going to take some stuff and let's say I'm pressing and here yeah, I can have the animation playing. So that's a bit of a thing. So here what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to make sure that um, the animation right here is also the right one. So here I need to say that uh, dollar sign anim dot Play and here I'm going to pass my idle animation because for now I only have this one. So let's have a look. Ah, no. Voila. Passing here. Voila. So I'm taking some hit. Boom. I'm just charging. I'm just charging a bit my soul bar. And so now, technically speaking, I shouldn't be able. Voila. And so now we are able to charge without moving. So that's cool. So now what I would like to do is uh, in the next video, I'm going to focus on uh, creating the dead animation because then after that, I'm going to create the ghost uh, the ghost um, system that you have in uh, Hollow Knight. When you are like globally, when you're, when you're dying in Hollow Knight, you uh, leave a, um, a sort of like a ghost behind you and uh, you have to fight it to, uh, to get back like the money that you have collected and those kind of stuff. And I would like to have a system like this so first we need to have the um, animation system for the 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 the, the, the dead animation uh, to be in place and then after that we can do the ghost so that's what i'm going to do and then i will make in a future video i will make the particle system that we will be able to to use for like making sure that we can not um, that we can have a visual representation of what's going on. So that's it for me. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it's the case, don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Me, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.